good time here. You're going to work hard, right? Yes, of course you are. You're going to make friends with people from all over the world. You're going to experience things you've not experienced before. And you're going to be successful. Because that is what we do in this school. And everybody around you, all the teachers, the boarding staff that some of you have met already, the support staff who welcome you at reception, who help you find your accommodation, the staff who make our lunches, they have all come to school today to help you guys be successful and do amazing things. That's why we come to school. And we love it here. And many people have been here for many, many years because they love that job of coming to school to help you. So, understand that everybody here has chosen this job, chosen to work here at this time for you. So if you find in your classes next week that you're finding business studies really hard and you can't quite understand what's going on, just remember that business studies teacher has chosen to work here to help you. So what you should do is ask the teacher and say, I didn't understand that. Please help. And your teacher will not say, how dare you ask me questions. <laughs> no. Your teacher will say, you know what? I didn't understand that when I was your age. Nobody is born understanding that. We have to learn it. Let me help you. That is what's going to happen here. That is going to be your experience. People in all walks of life throughout the school are going to be there to help you. We hope that you're ambitious, and we hope you've come here to do really well, to work hard, to work smart, and to leave maybe in two or three or four years' time and do amazing things, maybe at a, a university in this country. We know that's a goal for people who join us. So welcome. You've come to a great school. Read that slogan behind me. So that is, that is how we see this school. <coughs> Take your time over it. Maybe some new words for some of us in the room. It's got three parts. A community. Energised by the love of learning and the pursuit of outstanding achievement for all. It is our vision. Vision is how we see things. This is how we see our school. So it's very important that you absorb that because that is how we see our school. All of us. So right now, from this moment, that second word, community, that's what you're part of. You're, no, you're now part of a new community. What does community mean? Group of people. Mm -hmm. Is it just a group of people? Is there something more? Who interact with each other. Who interact with each other, yeah. Perhaps even more than that. People that perhaps support each other, very, very good, have a feeling that together they belong together. So you've joined a new group of people who interact and support each other. And we have a sense together we're bigger than we are separately, bigger than we are apart. So it's very important, this idea of a school community. You were in a school community before you came here, your previous school. Of course you were. And in that school, after being there for many years, you felt you belonged there, and it was your school. So try and start to feel that way about this school, because this school is your school. It's our school. Every student a member of staff in this school are equal members of this community. From now, that's you. So I'd really like you to increasingly feel that sense of being with people, interacting, supporting, and being together and belonging. I want you to feel this is a place for you and you belong here. 
It's going to be fantastic. You will enjoy yourself, I'm sure of that. You will make new friends. And some of those friends will be from countries that you've never imagined you'd ever visit or meet people from. Remember, there are 30 different nationalities in this room. So that's an important idea for you. You are part of a community. We genuinely mean that. When we make decisions about our school, we look at this and we think to ourselves, is that decision about us as a community? And if the answer is yes, we will do it. The second part, energised by the love of learning. Many of you, I'm sure, can't wait to get into your classrooms, right? You can't wait to start learning. We love learning here. And I do hope that you pick up that love from the teachers of business, physics and English. And you really are energised to be successful, to learn as much as you can about biology. Read around the subject and become perhaps a student at an even higher level of academic interest and ability. The third part of that sentence, the pursuit of outstanding achievement, that says what we hope for you is for you to achieve amazing things. That might be for you perhaps going to university. For many people that's the goal for their time here, is to be ready for that top university. And you probably know students from here last year, or rather this year, this, 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 this calendar year, students have gone to amazing universities. Eight students went to Oxford and Cambridge. We had students going to UCL in London. There were 18 of them went to UCL in London. Students went to medical school, to law school, architecture, economics, at the very highest level. That's what I hope you can reach for. Be ambitious about your objective. You only get to go to university once. Why not go to an amazing university? Why not push yourself? Because you're now surrounded by people who will be doing just that. There are people in this room who will be going to Cambridge University. How about that? That's a near guarantee. Because every year, people from here go to Cambridge University. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's twelve. This year it was eight. So I'm pretty sure in two years' time, for those who are starting A-level, there will be people in this room going to Cambridge University. There will be people in this room going to medical school, going to LSE for economics, going to UCL. It's going to be you guys. This is the opportunity. You could be one of those people. Brilliant. Now listen, somebody, one of our students who has returned from last year, there's one or two people who are students who are your seniors who were here last year, and they've joined the school a little earlier to help you. It's fantastic, isn't it, that they've done that for us. I'd like to thank those students who've come back early to be ambassadors and to help. One of those students <coughs> wrote this on the board outside. Maybe it was more than one. And I, I think that's, that's just utterly beautiful. The sun is shining on it right now, but it says, welcome. When you enter this loving school, consider yourself one of the special members of an extraordinary family. That's heartfelt from a student who was here last year. That's what we are. Isn't that one?